Hello. Current Soraya here, just here to introduce that this vlog is when I'm preparing for my final exams, so there is less footage in general because I'm spending most of my time studying or doing final projects. So usually a vlog will be about 10 days worth of footage, but for this one it will be 20 days worth of footage because that's... there's less of it. So since I'm recording less, I am going to show some of the photos in my camera roll, which show also what I was doing and not recording. So here's that. My aunt always brought me coffee and carrot cake to the office that I was working in right after dinner most nights, which was very nice of her. This is when my classes and studying would begin. And look at this silly little mug with silly little people. Loved it. This was very needed, a very needed call. Important to have a giggle with friends to keep you sane. And not pictured at this Redheads reunion is Allison. Of course, we have some knitting progress. This is the sock I began when I first got here, and it's nearly complete. This is a little thing, but during our weekly family grocery runs, which are the tradition of the house that I move into, I found the berries at the store that bamboozled me in the quarantine hotel. Y'all, what? What is this fruit? I ate some of it. I like it. What am I eating? It's kind of like a really sweet tomato. Came with my cake. And finally, most importantly, things started to work out with my staying in Norway. I didn't show it in the last vlog, but while we were at the cabin, I got a call from the San Francisco and the region embassy, and there was still a lot to do, and there was more back and forth on their side, and my parents sending them things, and it was still messy, but it was finally decided that I should try and stay in Norway the full five months. I didn't have to go home early, and I would just try my best to explain myself when I was leaving the country with my strange case, and that also still left a lot of underlying anxiety about leaving and like getting in trouble when I left but it was like 95% sure that it would be okay with perhaps a little bit of struggle but that was the advice I was given by the embassy and it's also a great thing that I got to stay because right around the 90 day mark when I was supposed to leave is finally when I started being able to do the things that I had been waiting for like enjoying the warming weather because that's right when winter finally ended and then I got to go to the family cabin and ski I actually got to go on my uncle's boat after the water was no longer icy Instead of just staring at the docked boat, um, I got to explore towns and hikes, and I got to go to Norwegian graduation, uh, Rus, which you'll see later. And these are all things that I had seen and heard about during my stay so far, but I hadn't yet experienced any of them. And if I had been forced out of the country at 90 days, I would have missed basically all the amazing warm weather things. So let's get back to the videos and see that slowly start to happen. First, I have to finish my exams, but I get hints of this fun to come in between the studying. From Seattle and Vancouver. But I didn't forget the city. Mm. Oh, that's what it is. Yay! Yeah. Yay! My aunt was big on me getting fresh air once a day. Uh, that's why a lot of this vlog is outdoors content. I feel like this was very needed given how I was spending most of my time at this time. 
and Loki, she instilled this habit, which still sticks with me today, two years later, that at least once a day you should go, go on a little walk, get some fresh air. Very healthy. And then here are some pictures from this same hike. Uh, they took me to the house where my aunt and my dad spent the first few years of their lives. The whole family lived in the basement of this woman's house. And this was long ago, this was like the 1950s, early 1960s-ish. Apparently there was rats and there was not a bathroom. There was an outhouse outside and to take a bath you had to go down into town to use the bathhouse. Right there? Right there. In the... Behind the trees. Behind, you can see a bit of it. Hello vlog. I'm home alone and I haven't vlogged in a while and I wanted to show... This was left here. <laughs> I think it's funny. But basically my aunt and uncle left me alone and now I have to entertain myself in the empty house. Which I have total practice for. I was in a hotel for 10 days. And this is only two days, so I think I'll live. But they're scared I'm gonna die, or I don't know. <laughs> they sent my cousin to watch over me, or to like be on call in case I need help, so. So from the balcony of this apartment, I could watch as the Midsummer Tower was built, which was cool to see from the very beginning. I could watch the progress every single day. And for context, using bonfires to celebrate Midsummer is an old tradition all the way from the Viking Age. But the bonfire in this city is extra special because it's the tallest handmade bonfire. And it uses no machines, and it's not just the tallest in Norway, but of the entire world. And the Guinness World Record says that the tallest bonfire was 155 feet and 5.9 inches. Achieved on June 25th, 2016, and it took three months to build, and it burned for two whole days. And for context, that is 11 stories high. Um, it's mostly built by, like, like, teenage boys, and they start building in April, and they burn the whole thing down on the Saturday closest to June 21st, which was so upsetting because um, I left Norway on June 20th, so I watched months of progress from the very beginning, and I literally barely missed the big show, which was disappointing. But I lived. Um, people come from all over to see it. Would have loved to see it with them. And a lot of people go out into the water around in boats, and they get to see it burn up close. And in the next vlog, I will take a rowing boat out and look at it up close.
still home alone. I made more muffins. Thank you, Solman Selena, for um, the recipe. This is my fourth time making these now since I got the recipe, so I really like them. They're banana chocolate chip. What else? I made salad yesterday. It looks kind of doesn't look very cute, but it is cute. Let's stir her up. Let's plate her so that she looks cute again. Yeah. I'm gonna have salad and I think a grilled cheese because there's a panini press in there, so might as well try that. Yeah, I have a lot of dishes to do first, actually. Got some sweet, sweet bananas. Yeah, I haven't vlogged in forever, and that's because it's finals week. And school's almost over. And when school is finally over, I can finally get back to vlogging because, or at least editing. I haven't edited a video since, oh my god. In the vlog series right now, I have not left the quarantine hotel. That was like January 18th. It is currently May 8th. So I'm four months behind. That's okay. One day, all of the vlogs will be up. And that will be a fun day, and then you'll know what has actually happened to me. Until then, it's all a secret. That's the other thing. I'm glad I'm not a YouTuber, because I can't imagine doing that all the time. It's fun to have things to remember, but the process of just putting clips together... Too long. Yeah. So it's May 8th, Saturday today. It's Saturday, I have a final on Tuesday, I have a final on... Wednesday, Thursday, fish presentation on Wednesday, and then I'm done. And then I am in Norway for a month with no school, potentially an internship. We don't know. We don't know where that's going. Had another interview two nights ago. Oh, yeah, the one with CNN didn't work out. Made it to the third and final round. Didn't work out. That's okay. But yeah, I had another phone interview the other night. Who can say what my summer will hold? I can't say. So I don't know what my plan is for my month in Norway when I'm out of school. I'll at least have two weeks off no matter what happens. Like even if I get an internship I'll have two weeks off. So vacation time and then potentially work time and then potentially if that doesn't work out more vacation time which I'm not mad about. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Goodbye. See you soon. And over here we have mm, that hole. <laughs> no. That fog. Okay. You know, sometimes I am a simple gal and I love a grilled cheese with some mustard. And I haven't had one since I moved to Norway, so that means I haven't had one in four months at the least. I can't remember the last one I had. I'm gonna put some fresh cilantro on this salad. This salad's really garlicky. It doesn't usually turn out this garlicky, but I don't mind. Gotta ward off the vampires. Ooh, gorgeous, gorgeous. She's grilling. This poor cilantro plant is dying. There's really not much to work with. She is dying fast. Every day. She gets a little more dead. I'm sorry, Miss Ma'am. Maybe I should say hello to my loyal, loyal viewers. <laughs> hello to Courtney and Candace and Grace who requested to be said hi to, who are not getting delivered to, because I don't edit my vlogs. But one day you'll see this, and it'll be in the future, and perhaps in the future, we've already reunited. And that's a pleasant thought to have. Today I went for the longest walk ever. I just kept going farther and farther. I definitely took took videos so you'll see but I didn't even mean to go that far I was just going hey girl yeah she looks way cuter in the bowl Ooh, yum. are you crackling I'm like, hey girl oh you need to get brown you need to cook more Ooh. are these brown yeah it's time yes 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 thank you so much Lena Be a little brown, a little crispy, you know? Get that good crunch on top. Yes! This 
so I just say goodbye to my acroecology class. It was such a unique experience, very special, very community, very much learning, much togetherness. And it's over. It was a nice final class though. Oh, sad. Um, I was in this breakout room. Also, breakout rooms in this class are actually really fun. And people talk. I was in a breakout room with five people, four people plus me. And there was someone who was graduating. Two freshmen, one transfer student who recently transferred, and me entering my senior year. And we were just like talking about advice and wisdom. Yeah, that was refreshing. Sad. Okay, that's it. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> this is my class that I have from 2 to 3.30 a.m. every Wednesday this semester. It really fucked with my sleeping schedule, I'll tell you that. My god, I could never sleep correctly because of this class, but it was worth it. I'm glad to say it was worth it because if I had made it this far and it wasn't worth it, then I really fucked up my sleep schedule for nothing, no. It was worth it, and now it's over. My 2 a.m. class only happens once a week, and it's something that I really want to do. It's like a student-led class, and it's very cool. I, very, I liked it very much last night, but it's worth it. I want to disrupt my sleep a little for that class. We all presented our final projects, which could all become real projects, because all of our proposals are being used as a resource for food systems miners, so they can make the projects real if they want to. Okay. Good night. So since it's 3 a.m., I will be picked up to join my family at the cabin in just a few hours. They are already there without me, and tomorrow my uncle will be very kind, driving two hours to come and get me, and then immediately turning around to drive two hours back. And he also stops and shows me a cool waterfall pit stop on the way, too, so very nice. So summer vacation begins tomorrow in the next vlog. Very exciting. And the amount of truly dark nighttime is getting very short every night. Only a small chunk of the night is true darkness like you see right here. Most of the time it's pretty light out. Very soon it will get to the point where there is no darkness at all. <laughs>